here. Hold on, uh, oh my god. Alright, got ourselves a uh, high fix over here. Do exactly what this is. And, alright, what's going on, diggers and diggettes? This is Mel Detecting the Look at what it is. Y'all guess it's a full table or is a Alright, what's going on diggers and diggers? This is Straight Up Metal Detecting. I am Tripwire and I am finally at Lexington Beach. We come out here once a year and usually I try to get out here a little earlier in the year, but well, Chemical X and I, we had different schedules going on. But yes, we finally made it. We're over here at the beach. Um, this is the only beach I like really detest because I don't have to pay to get into it, but I also don't find a whole lot of anything. <laughs> Because I bet everybody around here already has metal detectors and they probably beat me to everything. But that's cool. You know what, to be honest, I really don't care if I find coins or jewelry. I want to find anything. But yeah, I'm first going to be doing some discriminating and then I'm just going to go through everything. I also got a new toy I'm going to play with. Hopefully it works. The sand right now is a little bit on the heavier side. And what I made was a sand scoop. Uh, kind of like the ones that you see uh, other professionals use. But this is homemade. And we're going to give it a shot see if that works. But right now... I can't wait to get detecting because the beach is practically empty. So let's do this. All right, it looks like we got our first hit of the day here. Uh, so over this pile, it's on everything. It's not on discriminate. And this is probably the stuff you're gonna find. So I'm gonna be finding stuff like this basically all day. Uh, if I find eight, I say if I find five coins, I'll be happier than half. But right now I just got this small piece of metal. And you know me, I'm gonna flip it, dig it in the scrap yard and get some cash out of it. Cool. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am horrible when it comes to beach detecting, but I just love to do it. <laughs> if you guys are expecting gold, diamonds, and silver, and all the other fun stuff, it's not going to be here. <laughs> Never is, but I did find this second hit of the day. A uh, little piece of metal, probably scrap, I don't know exactly what. Um, I don't know what it went to, uh, but it is scrap. We found something that's like underneath this rock. I like checking around the rock areas. Got all these rocks going down. Um, yeah, like I said, this is basically what I'm going to be finding on the beach. But they do have a park here, and they got some old playground equipment. And uh, after the beach, I'll probably be hitting that area. Cool. All right, we got ourselves another hit, and it's in a very interesting spot down here. I'm going to have to get up in there with the detector. Let's play the game. Let's see what you think of it. Well, actually, we can't, we can't play the game because it's on everything. Let's screw it. We'll play the game anyways. I'm, I'm, see what you think it is. Is it a bottle cap? Coin? Probably not. Uh, gold ring? Never. <laughs> but yeah, you guys got uh, three seconds to make your pick. Alright, did you make your pick? I hope so. And it was actually pretty down there pretty deep. And this is basically what the find was. It's a uh, scrap. Crap. I don't know if this is wiring or whatnot. At first I thought it was like a, a piece of driftwood or something, but it's definitely metal. I have no idea what it was. But yeah, if you pick scrap, you're the winner. All right, riveting, exciting, bottle cap. <laughs> of course we got a bottle cap, what else would it be around here? Anyhow, yeah, if you guys ever do beaches, you know, pick up the bottle caps and pole tabs or anything else that would uh, hurt kids' feet when they're running around because they're barefoot. And why people leave these here, I don't know. That kids run on it, get hurt, screw that. So anytime I see any bowel caps, I do pick them up. So what I lack in finding treasure, I make up with uh, being a humanitarian by cleaning the beach. All right, here we go. The find is awesome. Yeah, right. I had it on everything, and this is the stuff that you pick up when you're on everything. <laughs> Never fails. I don't even know what this was. This could have been a sparkler for all I know. But yeah, when I got when I'm up here at the uh, Lexington, I always find stuff like this. But like I said, clean the beach. All right, well, finally, we got a decent hit. It's about darn time. Uh, we got right over here, high pitch. Might be a coin. Really hoping it is. We're about to find out. All right, two and a half years later, I finally found it. And of course, it just can't be a coin, can it? No, nope. no, nah, that'd be too good, right? <laughs> I found a piece sort of rust in piece section. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is kind of interesting. I don't know what it is. 
looks like it's some sort of tag that uh metal part that would go on a tag some sort i don't know it's really neat i wish i had a better picture of it but yeah this is probably one of the cool, coolest things i found today because i have no idea what it is but it is kind of neat so what i lack in value i make up in originality it, yeah, that's something that we really want on the beach, a rusty nail. Yep, it's the last thing I want to see kids step on, so that's why I pick it up. But yeah, the, the stuff that you find, lovely. All right, we got a rusty nail, scrap number two. We got our second nail for today, which is interesting. Actually, it's kind of, I actually kind of think this one's kind of cool. It's actually almost perfectly straight. I could use this for Halloween, to be honest with you. I'm going to keep this guy. But I got a story for you. Um, I just got done talking with a uh, lady that was walking by asking me if I found anything. And I said, yeah, if you like bottle caps, I found a ton of bottle caps. <laughs> She's like going, oh, well. She said something, I forgot what it was. And I go, well, basically I come here and I clean up the beach. You know, if I don't find any coins, I, I pick up rust and stuff like this. And, you know, because I don't want the kids to get hurt. And she thanked me a ton of times, you know. It's like, hey, for once I'm actually doing good in the world. <laughs> There's a first. So, yeah, it's nice to be recognized. And, you know, when you guys get out there and you're metal detecting beaches, pick this crap up scrap it too or use it for halloween <laughs> all right well it looks like beach trash 796 to beach coins zero <laughs> all right well i know a couple other areas they got a little uh, volleyball card here no one's playing so we're gonna hit that and there's a place where people like to fish maybe we can find some like tackle or some fishing stuff or something <laughs> you know anything's better than what we've been finding right <laughs> i'll be happy with a penny today but hey, you know, and I know, we know where the money is. <laughs> Anyhow, we're just gonna go, keep on doing what we're doing over here. We're gonna go hit the vibe ball net first, and then we're gonna go hit uh, the fishing area. See what we got. All right, looks like we got a hit over here I, in the vibe ball court for once. It's on everything, so it might go off when it wants to. But anyhow, let's see what we got. I got right there, still there, still there. Wait, dropped it. Dropped it again. Oh, where'd you go? Found it again. What is it? Watch is, watch is going to be something super small. Or very yet, it's probably going to be this. Got ourselves another uh, something or another. Just another small piece of scrap metal. Nothing new. Nothing excellent. So small. It was like way down there, too. Go figure. I don't know. It's not a, not a nail, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's ours now. Finally... Found our first coin of the day over at the fishing area. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna take some cleaning. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it was actually on all metal too, so I'm kind of glad. Yeah, we got our first coin of the day. Yeah, 200 miles. One coin. Phenomenal. All right, here we go. I found this old jungle gym. They don't really make these anymore. Uh, we're gonna detect around here. We're gonna see if we can find some more coins. Some coins. We got one so far, yippee. Uh, yeah, so uh, I never noticed this. I've been coming up here for about three years now, once a year, and I just noticed it now. So let's we'll see what we can find. All right, here we go. First hole over by the jungle gym. Got ourselves a Canadian penny. Now, believe it or not, we're actually kind of close to Canada, so there is a lot. Actually, I did talk to people from Canada up here. They come here and hang out too, so yeah. Uh, so we will be finding Canadian money around here. <laughs> you see, like I mentioned earlier, we know where the money is. We know where all the coins are. Because we just got ourselves another dime. Like I said, you know, over in the pavilion area by the playgrounds, it's where you're going to find a lot of your coins. You know, people are probably hunt the crap out of that beach on a daily basis. So you're not going to find much out there. But we got ourselves a dime. Yay. I'm going to do one more. Uh, sorry. I'm going to do one more uh, hole. And then we're going to move on to the end complete. All right. The last find of the day. Lovely. You know what, I don't know what it is. It could be an old can of some sort. Sure, kind of neat and interesting. Do that much clean up to see what it is. But yeah, that's going to do it for Lexington Beach. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. We will move on to the end complete now. See you there. All right, Lexington Beach 2017. We, this is the end complete. We're going to go over everything that I found over this last week while I've been out metal detecting. Uh, been all over the beach and different schools and stuff. So everything's put together uh, Over in the rust and peace section. We got uh, just more rust piece. Actually, I found a piece of barbed wire <laughs> I love finding my barbed wire. I don't know why that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's this can over here uh, This is kind of weird 
because uh, I don't I can't read it. But it's definitely old, but we know it's worth nothing. <laughs> what the heck are you gonna do? I still don't know what the hell this is. I absolutely have no clue on what the heck this is, or what it is, or what it came off of, or whatnot. So that's a mystery item right there. We got the Ultra Trap section. Teeny. Little. You know, you got a little Ultra Trap, which I really like. The, the smaller, the better, you know? Even though I still get money for it, eh, I'd rather find coins. Uh, over here, I found, like, looked like a sewer pipe of some sort, and it was actually broken off into three different sections. So I'm not exactly sure what it's made out of, but... It is a trip. Some Lexington Beach finds when I was on the beach, literally. We got uh, a couple of nails, sparkler sticks, I believe. Just other rust and crap here and there. Oh, just found some like little more odds and ends. Nothing super, nothing major. Found a little cap. Found a little nut. I don't know what this is. This is kind of interesting. It has screws on one side. But I have no idea what it can go to. That's kind of interesting nonetheless. Uh, two more mystery pieces. I have no idea what the heck this is either. Not a clue. I tried to clean it up with some CLR and it didn't do anything. I found this piece no more than two hours ago. Uh, again, I have no idea what it is. Not a clue. I think it may have gone to a car maybe. I'm not sure. That's the fun with metal detecting. You kind of like let your brain wander and think of where this stuff actually came from. Another good reason to wear gloves. Friendly reminder. Anyhow, we got ourselves... I found twist ties on the beach. <laughs> yeah, when you put on everything, you literally find everything. Found a key. Found that one earlier today, too. Uh, real long sparkler stick, I'm guessing it. Bottle cap section! Yeah. Yeah, a lot of bottle caps, no doubt about it. But uh, the bottle cap pick of the week is... I don't even know. Shoreville Lemon Shady. I don't know if that's an alcoholic beverage or a regular fruit juice. I have no idea what it is. I've never seen that before. Pull tabs. Y'all know what to do. Do I really have to tell you? Yep. Donate them. Okay. Uh, the YouTube pick of the week is Warrior Detecting. I was going through some videos, and this guy has a really, really good beginners uh, video. So if you guys get a chance, check out Metal Detecting Tips for Beginners by Warrior Detecting. Check them out on YouTube. Okay, uh, surface finds. I found a little flag. I just could not bear to throw that out. Uh, these are some rocks and shells that I picked up. I don't know why. Or not shells, but you know what I mean. Whatever the heck those are. Uh, let's see. Does anyone need a uh, paint opened? I'm going to open up a jar of paint now. Two pencils, a paper clip, a couple of stupid little stars. Why I grabbed them? I don't know. Make it look more colorful, I guess. <laughs> okay, over here we got um update. Now, last week I kicked off the and complete with a big piece of rusted crap and well i took it to work and i sandblasted it and it does look kind of cool no doubt about it i still have no idea what it is <laughs> but it's kind of cool nonetheless okay we're going to go over to the toy section i actually have toys you know this actually was picked up in three different pieces one two three so i think that this was a matchbox tank at one point i again i know i was out about two hours ago and i found this car this is actually a collector's item I bet y'all didn't know that. This is the Paul McCartney death car <laughs> from the rumor that he died in a car accident with a white Austin Healey. So I can get big money for that if you believe in the Paul is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I make myself laugh. I don't know why. I'm just it's, That's the collector's item of the day. <laughs> it's conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay, we got just like, like a little stupid triangle thing. And I think this is copper. But it's like really, really super thin. We have a fishing section. I actually did find um, a couple more than a few hooks. I love these hooks. I don't know why. Just They look really super cool with the three different uh, points on them. I would love to make this into a necklace, but there ain't no way in hell I'm wearing it. <laughs> but I really like those. Those are always cool. Found a little button, kind of. It has an R on it, but there's no backing. This could probably make a good uh, magnet or so. Jump jewelry. I found this little uh, cross here. And I found this, again, with the, with all the other stuff. I found this about two hours ago. It is just an ID bracelet. It's lighter than heck. It's uh, just aluminum crap. But I like it nonetheless. I think it's pretty cool. Coinage! Uh, we didn't do super great on the coins, but we did do some coins. We got some pennies over here. Good slew of dimes. Quarters are kind of cool. I got one coin over here that's just absolutely, completely wrecked. Wrecked and a half. Um, found two Canadian pennies, and uh, I actually have a coin section, a very special coin section. Uh, these are some of the coins that I truly love. I found uh, a token of some sort. I don't know what it goes to because it's really hard to read. 
So we found a token. This here for you guys that collect coins. This 2009 backing in particular. These are starting to become very rare. If you guys see these, start grabbing them and hoarding them. Uh, I found a 1944 wheat penny. It's really hard to see, I know. But it's a 1944 wheat penny. You don't clean your coins, collect these coins, so let's deal with it. Speaking of Canadian money, I found a... Let's see if it's light out my damn way. Uh, <laughs> I found a double loony. For those of you that don't know about uh, Canadian currency, they got a loony, which is like one big piece of brass, I think. It's just one piece. A double loony is what you're looking at right now. Silver on the outside, brass in the middle. And it's worth $2. Which is totally awesome. I love it. I, I don't have any of these in my collection, so I was really thrilled to get it. And the find of the week is... You guys see this? You all see this? You know what this is? Uh, let me put it over here so you can see a little better. You know what this is? 14 karat gold. It has a, a stamp right here on the clasp. And this is actually 14 karat gold. I was shocked. Because I found it at an elementary school of all places. Uh, never underestimate your schools. Never underestimate even elementary schools, because I still can't believe I found this. I checked it, Chemical X, double-checked it. We wanted to make sure that this was what it is, and it is 14 karat gold ID bracelet. <laughs> all right, I thank you all very much for watching. This is Straight Up Metal Detecting. Next week, actually, uh, later on this week, I'm sorry. Later on this week, we will be doing the Super Cool Ultra Mega Hunt. We will we'll try to do some live stuff on uh, YouTube. We'll do our best on that. But we're definitely going to be filming that. I think you all are going to get a huge kick out of it. So I thank you all very much for watching. I am Tripwire. And I have a collectible car here from the Paula's Dead Oaks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making myself laugh. I'm happy. So I want you all to do me a huge favor. I want you to like, subscribe, and keep the hunt alive. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'm so